Hi Cancer, welcome to your December general reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Cancer. This will not resonate with every Cancer that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you, so please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you at all, Cancer, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. My intentions for this reading, Cancer, is to channel and provide messages from Spirit for you for the month of December, to ask what will be happening in December, what has already happened and why did it happen, um, to just get any information that will help you be better prepared for what's to come in the month of December, and this can impact any aspect of your life. Love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution, home and family life, whatever spirit would like to bring forth shall be said, and I hope it's what's been weighing the heaviest in your heart and on your mind. If you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space at this time, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, even passed down loved ones, you're welcome to do so now. Okay, Cancer, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I will be using the sound bowl to clear the energy, so if you are listening to this using headphones, I do suggest turning it down just a little bit for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. Interesting. Okay, Cancer. I got one clear vision for you. And what I saw was a hand reaching out, holding a cup. So if you're new to tarot, the cup is a water energy. Um, it is usually has something to do with romance or relationships, healing. Um, but it did feel like an offer, Cancer. Whether you're offering a cup to someone, they're offering it to you. I feel this is already a bit romantic here. That someone has a crush on you, someone really likes you. Maybe even falling in love with you and may want to make that known in December. But others of you, if it's not so romantic related, um, it feels like this is what you've been hoping for. This is what you really, really want. It's what your heart's desire is, and now is the time. It's like a gift. It's an offer, either from someone that you work with, associate with, or even from spirit. Wow, that was clear as day. That may just be a small message for some of you. It doesn't have to be the case. Let's go ahead and see what the t cards have to say for my beautiful Cancers in December. Tell me what's happening for Cancers in December, spirit. Ooh, wow, so it says letting go, hmm, and it says, I surrender joyously to the ebbing and flowing of life, wow, so kind of similar energy to Gemini, because in Gemini's reading, I was picking up on Gemini or someone who is around Gemini's energy that wants something so, so bad, but is not surrendering. But Cancer, I feel this is different for you. I feel in general that there's something that you're letting go of, something that you just don't find fulfilling anymore. But once you let that go, truly and fully, there's something so much better coming in. That's exactly what I was feeling. And some of you guys who have already let go of a person, of a situation, of a job, something that you've once thought you wanted so, so badly, you're realizing you don't want it anymore. It's not part of you. It's not part of your plan. It's not part of your goals anymore. And so Cancer, I feel that this whole process of letting go that you're going through right now, or maybe have gone through, is leading to you to exactly where you need to be now. And it's never that you are on the wrong path, but 
I do feel that with whatever it was you were having trouble letting go of, there is just something so much better you didn't see yet, but may be coming for you in the month of December. I'm really drawn to these fish here. Some of you could have Pisces in your chart. You could be dealing with a Pisces, letting go of a Pisces. It doesn't have to be for everyone, but I really do feel that by letting go of your expectation of your of the specific outcome you wanted or just realizing it's not fulfilling you anymore you're letting spirit come in you're letting spirit heal watch over you and start to orchestrate all the good that is going to come into your life that is just beginning in december and i feel some of you too have that need to still let it go fully and some of you who may be struggling with it, if it's not for you, it's not for you, all right? But for those of you, you know this is something that you need to let go of. I promise that you'll be seeing something so much better come right around the corner on the other side of this, okay? Yeah. I do feel that others of you too, there may be someone or something not wanting you to go, trying to make you stay trying to you know finally after you've asked so many times to change to help to compromise they didn't want to until you finally get your foot out the door um i i almost feel like cancer if that is happening to you right now or will be soon it's just an attempt to keep you with no plans of changing or evolving so I really do feel a lot of you are coming into the flow of life where you were so much in the ebb of difficulties, struggles, or even just in general, I'm seeing a roller coaster in my mind's eye. I do feel that 2021 was one hell of a roller coaster ride for you. There are times when you had great experiences, awesome times, great months, and then there were others where you just felt sad or you felt, you know, like nothing was happening. It wasn't growing or going anywhere. It was whatever the case was, I do feel spirit puts you through those down times to expand you to grow you to evolve you so you'll be ready for what's to come in so you won't take it for granted so you won't overlook it but you'll be exactly prepared for what's to come and this does feel emotionally tied very emotionally tied maybe a soulmate who loves you and accepts you and will compromise for you the way people haven't done before. Or even cancer, you're, repla you're replacing one heart's desire with something that is so much more in sync with you, so much more in alignment with you, that you weren't expecting maybe. But by just surrendering the need to know how it's going to happen and just accepting life every day, you're letting spirit work its magic in your life. Beautiful. Let's keep going. Tell me more about what's happening in Cancer's life. Ooh, Cancer. We have first chakra, Archangel Michael here. Archangel Michael works with you, watches over you, protects you. Whether you're aware of Michael's presence or not, Archangel Michael feels the need to push things forward for you, to fight for you in the background, in the behind the scenes that you don't see happening, and protecting you too, Cancer, truly, truly protecting you. And anything that isn't worthy of you, that isn't worthy of your time and your love and your caring heart, Archangel Michael will not let into your path. So if some of you, yeah, someone broke up with you, wasn't willing to change for you, Archangel Michael even protected you from that person that you need to know about. What If you've been wondering, here it is. But Cancer too, I feel there's some sort of situation that will happen in your life that will make you so much more secure than ever before. And this is what Michael is preparing you for. This is what your angels, your other spirit guides, or even the universe is letting you know that Cancer, you've already been through so much. I can sense it with the letting go card. 
We don't want you to repeat the same mistakes. We don't want you to go in the same karmic cycles. You've done that enough. Anything that doesn't make you feel safe, secure, loved, that is the first red flag to let it go. But I do feel that all this clearing you had to do, all of this letting go, is making room for something that you truly need to feel that you have it all now with the root chakra, the base chakra. It's all about security, power, um, foundation. And some of you may be meditating or working on your root chakra to heal it, um, especially with those of you that may experience anxiety, fears. I do feel that either it's because you're moving and transitioning into something new and those fears and anxieties will pop up because we are human and we do fear the unknown. But others of you, you know, if there are certain situations that have been stressing you out, I think your angels and spirit guides, especially Archangel Michael, will remove it from you, Cancer, because again, for some of you, you've had too much on your plate for too long. And spirit sees that you've been through so much, witnesses the pain you've been through and doesn't want you to hurt anymore. And for those of you who may not even be in a place of pain or hurt and you've done that healing, you've done that growth, then things are about to get so much better, better than you can have imagined. And it doesn't have to be some, you know, huge, big change of, you know, winning the lottery or, um, you know, just things that we don't feel satisfied with unless it's something gigantic. It's even in the small ways, I think, Cancer, you're going to see strangers or witness strangers being very kind to you. Um, random coins or bills of money you're going to find in certain places. Just a stroke of luck, I feel, Cancer, that you're going to witness in December that's going to make you feel and know that everything is going to be okay. Wow. Let's keep going. Tell me more, Spirit, about the month of December for my beautiful Cancers. Tell me more. Now I'm hearing Let It Go by... F um, Elsa from Frozen, maybe a song you've been hearing lately, especially around this time of year, maybe not. Um, but it's okay to let it go for some of you that may still be struggling with it. Angel of self-worth, self-worth, excuse me, yes, you are currently undervaluing yourself. It is time to regain your self-worth. Wow, Cancer. Oh, this touches my heart. Yeah, so Cancer... I think people, situations, even memories that have haunted you have taken too much from you. And that's why spirit is stepping in. That's why maybe Archangel Michael or your guides or the universe is stepping in to remove anything that maybe you don't see right now, but you'll know in the long run wasn't worthy of you. Again, like I said, or it just took too much of you and was giving you nothing in return. Cancer, you are a star. You are a shining star. Look at that star on top of her head. Some of you may are awakening to or you already know that you are a star seed even. And you're very empathic. And the thing about that is with star seeds and empaths, like your light shines so brightly that so many vibrations get attracted to it the good and the bad and with the bad they just want to take and take without realizing or even realizing how much it's depleting you but cancer december is your time your time to shine your time to heal your time to make the decisions that are best for you and no one else and that doesn't mean you have to be selfish cutthroat for the rest of your life no but it is okay to prioritize your well-being. It's okay to prioritize your success and your goals and how you want to reach them. 
And again, I do feel, Cancer, that there are codependent energies around you that just rely on you for their own well-being. But that's not your job, Cancer. You could be a friend. You can be a good parent, a loving, romantic partner. But the moment that you start, they start to ask too much of you, and you know it. It's when you start to get frustrated, tired, um, anxious, that everything, they're still not changing, they're still not getting it, um, it's okay to say no. It truly is. But even so, Cancer, there may be something again that has come through the cycle or the process of letting go that will come in that will prove to you how worthy you are, how amazing you are, how loved you are and appreciated you are that you didn't realize before until you had to let go. That's amazing, Cancer. I do feel for some of you, it in its own way is a blessing or a sign that you are meant for so much more than just being people's caretakers. And again, not in a negative way if you are, you know, caring after certain people who do need you, fine, absolutely, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about energy vampires. I'm talking about selfish people. I'm talking about those who just use you when they want you and then go on their way when they don't, leaving you stranded, questioning. But even so, Cancer, truly, truly, what has left your life, I feel is the divine intervention. I feel is for your protection. And what new is to come, will show you why that had to leave in the first place. And it's so much better. I, I can't emphasize it enough, Cancer, how much better it is. Wow, let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say. Tell me more, spirit. About what's happening for Cancer in December. Dear. Okay, <laughs> let's put these back. Too many came out. Too many came out. Let's do this again. Spirit has a lot of messages for you, Cancer. What can I say? You are definitely guided. You are definitely protected. Tell me more. There we go. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles under letting go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I feel with this card, Cancer, is that the wrong people who were never part of your team, who were never part of your well-being, they left already. Or you cut them out, they left on their own, fine. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. But I do believe, Cancer, too, it's providing the support you need to find the people who will uplift you, who will want to work on things with you, who will want to build you, who will, you know, you guys will feed off of each other's energy of building each other up. I do feel that um, some of you, like, there could have been, like, co-workers, because this is the Three of Pentacles energy, that were jealous that, you know, you brought something special to the table that they didn't want to work at or they couldn't do. But those people who were a pain in your side, at work or even just in general in your life their spirit is making sure they're out of the picture okay um maybe they quit unexpectedly or they got fired unexpectedly or even so like if you were at a place or a job that was just toxic you were overworking yourself with no you weren't getting paid what you were worth and you're deciding to let it go i promise you'll find another job situation that is going to pay you much more than what you were before for those of you that resonates with but truly i do feel cancer december is the month you're going to see who has your back and who doesn't and i do feel that there's people that you're going to meet in december that see you for your worth that see you as being a hard worker or a caring friend or a loyal person someone that they would love to have around 
and they're going to invite you to go do things, invite you to holiday parties, um, you know, events, hang out at their house. Um, you know, they, they want you around cancer and those are the people to, to trust. You'll know it, you'll sense it. Anyone that just gives you a bad vibe, who is snarky to you, who is rude to you, that you just turn the other cheek on, they gotta go. <laughs> they don't wanna see you succeed. And they'll do everything they can to put you down at their level. You don't need that. You don't. Let's keep going. Tell me more. Cancer, we have the happiest card in the deck, the sun, Leo energy. Cancer, and this is under first chakra, Archangel oh. Michael. Yeah, you, you, it's either Archangel Michael or a guardian angel or a spirit guide that is fighting for your happiness, that is clearing out and doing its part, its half to release, let go, protect anything that will keep you from your expansion, from your happiness, from your good fortune. And even on this card, it's baby new year, right? You see that red banner, it says happy new year, the little top hat that kids wearing and everything. Cancer, anything that needs to be left in December, left in 2021 is going to be left because 2022, I feel it now, is going to be the year of your expansion, of your success, of your good fortune. I, I know it's kind of corny, everyone says, this year is going to be my year. But Cancer, truly, you're making way for a happier 2022. And it's through this awakening, this acknowledgement, through the process of surrendering, accepting the flow, accepting things as they are, um, you know, discerning people and situations that are adding to your success and who are just taking away from it. But Cancer, you are cherished by your spirit team. You are very, very loved by your spirit team. And they're not gonna allow, you know, penny pinchers, you know, nosy Nancy's stifling stands to take anything from you in 2022. It will not happen. It will not happen, okay? <laughs> I'm hearing not on my watch. I don't know. You are being prepared for a beautiful, bountiful, successful 2022. And your spirit team will do what it takes to get you starting on the right foot. Even if you don't see why right now that certain people left or certain opportunities left, you'll understand by the end of December why it had to go in the first place. Let's keep going. Tell me more. Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is Virgo energy. And it's right under Angel of Self-Worth. So yeah, I really do feel slowly but surely, Cancer, you have been awakening to your worth. You have been awakening and realizing the trials you've been through to try to fix a situation you just couldn't fix. Try to heal someone or fix someone that they didn't want to be healed or fixed in the first place. But with the Knight of Pentacles, what I love about the Knight of Pentacles is that they have their eyes on the prize for what is going to give them fruition, harvest, success, abundance. And I think, Cancer, a lot of you have a plan. I don't know whether that's specifically in romance, in career. Um, it's different for all of you because it is general, but you do have your eye on something that you know and feel is worthy of you, or at least you're starting to wake up to it, that is going to give you worth, that is going to be valuable, and you are on the right track to achieving it in 2022. But the first step is knowing your self-worth, knowing what you are able to achieve, what you can achieve, and more importantly, what isn't worthy. But Cancer, this has been a long time coming of the things you needed to let go of. And I understand, we're all human. There are certain things that when we don't have a level of awareness or consciousness or we just want to see the best in everyone in every situation and we're blinded by it, but there's reasons why we hold on. But I think you're realizing, again, in December, it's not anything you want to hold on to anymore. 
it's not anything that you now realize is a part of your plan and you're okay with that now and you're moving on and you're moving forward bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords gemini energy in the past cancer you were worried you were afraid you were not understanding and seeing the reasons why people's situations either couldn't be the people or situations you wanted them to be or why they left you or why they made you feel alone why they made you um you know feel undervalued or underappreciated but you're waking up now cancer you're waking up in december and maybe some of you are going to see that you spent way too much time worrying about something that in the bigger picture doesn't matter didn't matter and that even through those darkest times where you were beating yourself up you were hard on yourself for certain situations that didn't turn out in your favor you were always protected you were always being sent messages signs your way that let you know everything was going to be okay and now you're seeing that in december beautiful i still feel like some of you still like you either have a quilt that you made or someone that loves you made or that you're making a quilt or you sew your own clothes or something um but i just feel in general if that's not so literal like spirit wants to blanket you with their protection with their warmth especially for some of you that are still struggling with letting go or surrendering you truly need to know that you are in spirit's favor and even if the difficult processes make it seem like it's elsewise it truly isn't but you have to accept accept that things happened accept that people won't change and then you can really start focusing on what's important wow all right cancer let's go ahead and pull one more card and get an affirmation for my beautiful cancers for the month of december and this could be an affirmation you can tell yourself when you're feeling down, when you're worried or stressed, or you can just keep on saying it to raise your vibration if you are starting to awaken and see all the good that's coming your way. Because trust me, with the sun, the knight of pentacles, the three of pentacles, it's coming your way and it's going to be evident. It will be seen in the 3D. But I think that's more 2022 and 2021 is just the time to let go of anything that isn't going to prosper. So final affirmation for my beautiful cancers. Wow, yes, and look at that crescent moon and that new moon, beautiful. You're ruled by the moon, cancer. And what it says is, I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love, yeah, wow, cancer. You know, we're all victims of this at one time or another. We all fall to prey to our fears to our ego, to our need for security where we think we have to have this one thing that isn't good for us. And when it doesn't happen, we put ourselves in this cycle of panic, fear, stress. But Cancer, in December, again, choose love. Love yourself. Accept what is happening. Be open to all that is to come for you. The good that is meant for you. And even if something leaves your life that you thought or think right now is meant to be forever, realize that it is divine intervention and your spirit team is protecting you and they're fiercely loving of you. And always, always, Cancer, with every choice you make, choose love. Choose love. What a beautiful reading, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me here. I really hope that this reading has resonated with you in some way. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Cancer, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Cancer.